Welcome to another video. This time I'm talking about event binding. Event binding allows you to listen for and respond to user actions such as keystroke, mouse movements, clicks and touches. It's similar to float fishing as you're waiting for a fish to take your bite and once it drips off, you respond quickly and strike. To bind an event, you use the Angular event binding syntax. This syntax consists of an event name within parentheses to the left of an equal sign and a template statement to the right. In this example, the event name is click and the template statement is onSave. We can now define the onSave method in RTS class. And once we click our button, that event has been bound and our method is executed. We can also bind to custom events. To demonstrate that, I'll create an item details component. In this component, I'll create an event emitter with output decorator, which exposes our property to parent components. Then I'll create a delete dummy method, which will just emit our property once we call it. Now I'll define a button and bind this method to a click event. Next, I'll place our item details component in our app component and I will bind to the delete request custom event that we just created. I'm calling delete item method and I'll use the event parameter to cache the string sent with this event. And now I'll define the delete item method in our class and just log what we got. And that's how you bind to custom event. And that's all that is to event binding a very simple but fundamental concept in Angular. Like always, subscribe if you are new to this channel and thank you for a thousand subscribers mark. I appreciate it so much. So, see you in the next video.